Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lash Karnor. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So, a lot of people have asked me, uh, do succulents have shallow roots? And uh, why is that we tend to pot succulents in shallow pots? Now, yes, uh, the reason behind that is uh, succulents do not have uh, huge uh, tuberous roots like how our regular foliage plants have or uh, the flowering plants have. They have like really huge roots. And uh, the more the roots tend to grow, the much more uh, bigger the plant tends to grow. And as we all know, our succulents don't grow very large. Even if you tend to put them in the ground, uh, there are some varieties that will tend to grow very big. But there are certain varieties that will tend to turn into clusters and clumps. Uh, and the main reason is that their roots do not grow too deep into the soil. Now the reason behind that completely goes back to where they come from. Uh, every succulent tends to grow from a very different landscape. And a lot of succulents that tend to grow in a region or in a landscape where there is not much water. So uh, pushing their roots too deep into the soil doesn't really help. In fact, if their roots are going to be too deep into the soil uh, in that kind of arid climate, that is going to definitely harm the succulent. So usually what they tend to do is they tend to grow their roots uh, very shallow. And usually the roots, like as you can see, like this one is uh, an etuaria. I'm not very sure about the exact ID. But what is going to happen is the roots are going to be mostly on the upper level of the soil or on the mid level of the soil. So what happens is that whenever there is rain as uh, we all know that the places where they tend to grow uh, rainfall is very scanty it doesn't rain like every other day so whenever there is this process of fog uh, there is condensation and then that uh, water tends to fall onto the succulents and then they turn into uh, droplets of water and they land up on the soil so the succulent has a very less amount of time to absorb that water if that if their roots are too deep into the soil they will definitely not be able to take up that water. Hence, they have grown in such a way wherein the roots are usually on the mid level or on the upper level of the soil. So the moment there is even a single drop of water, they immediately get into action and they start uh, absorbing that water. And hence, the roots are very shallow. They don't go too deep into uh, the soil. They do not end up too deep into the soil. Like all our other plants would be reaching out very deep because uh, there is groundwater and stuff like that. But... Uh, the succulents that tend to grow in such places, they do not have a lot of uh, option of groundwater. So there is no point of pushing their roots too deep into the soil. Because in these places, when even if it tends to rain, it does rain in such places. But whenever it tends to rain, the rains last only for a minute or maybe for two minutes. And uh, it tends to wet the upper layer of soil. And because that place is very arid, uh, immediately the water starts to uh, dry out. Immediately the soil starts to dry out and it's, the water starts to evaporate because of the uh, arid conditions. So they have very little time for them to absorb and soak that water. So uh, that is uh, what works out really well for them. And that's how they have adapted uh, themselves in order to survive in the wild. So the roots are going to be very shallow. They are going to be very tiny. And hence, uh, we tend to use uh, shallow pots because uh, they do not need uh, too deep pots. Again, uh, too deep pots will again store a lot of moisture, which can again damage uh, the succulent. So always go for a pot that is around... Uh, 8 cm, 7 cm, 9 cm, 10 cm, depending upon how big the succulent is. If the succulent is smaller, the smaller the pot. Uh, if the succulent is bigger, bigger the pot. But again, when I say bigger the pot, don't go for a pot that is around like uh, 10 inches, 11 inches of depth. That is not going to work out. That is definitely going to rot your succulent. So this is something that you will have to check uh, depending upon the succulent that you have. So you would be a right judge uh, to know because you are going to have the succulent. You will be able to judge and decide which pot is going to work out really well for your succulent. So that's all about it, guys. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.